Making a fly, as you know from a pair of jeans, like this, we've got the fly, we've got our zipper, and what is the special thing is that there is always a seam here, so there is a facing. Doing that, we need some patterns. Here I just wrote right and left because this right thing is the top part of the fly and the left part is the bottom. Here is just one centimetre of seam allowance and the other one there is still one centimetre of seam allowance but there is one extra seam, centimetre of seam allowance here where the zipper or the fly is supposed to be. Then I got the facing which fits behind the front piece and I got the back side of the zipper just as here in a pair of jeans where you've got this back side. <clears throat> I have prepared my patterns. First of all I overlocked the seams all the way down. Now I got here a notch for where to tell me how long this zipper is supposed to be. Now after overlocking it can be difficult to see my notch so I put in a pin just to know where it is. Then I got a notch up here telling me got the notch up here telling me that this is the centre front. This here I first of all sewn together then I have overlocked it at one side so I got the tube like that. This is for the left side and then of course I got the zipper. Now let's get started with sewing this fly. Now getting started I got my right side and my facing. I place my facing along the edge, sew it with one centimeter of seam allowance and I sew it to that exact point where I got my marking, my notch. Now the top point is finished, I can iron and I can turn it around. But before doing any of this, I sew the crotch. So I place my left side upon this. Now it's easier to sew it the other way around because you've got to fold your facing back so you won't attach that. And then you're going to sew this seam together up to that point where you stitch or where you stopped your stitching last time when you attach your facing. So you see, now we got it in a way. Now just turn this to the back side and I will make a top stitching <coughs> to make it look nice to get the right finish out of it. Top stitches like this are done approximately two millimeter from the edge. Now only sew to where it open up like that and as I told you a lot of times I'm always removing my loose threads to assure it's easier in the end to clean my things. Now I've got to do the bottom part. Here 
I had two centimetre of seam allowance. I'm folding it one centimetre By doing that, I have displaced my zipper so it won't be visible when I make it. So here from the last point is one centimetre. From my notch up here where I got centre front is one centimetre as well. Now I can place my zipper and I do that. I place it like this. And as you remembered, <coughs> or might remember, we had a back piece of the zipper. That's the one. Now I place this in line with my zipper, so it fits my zipper. Turn it around and displace my pins. After doing this, do remember to check as if it's still okay at the back side. Now we've got to sew this, you have to change your foot at the machine from the regular to the zipper foot, which is half a foot. Now I'm sewing as close as possible through all layer. Maybe when you come up here, it is necessary to remove the, this uh, thing and open up your zipper. And I'll just do that. Sometimes it's a little complicated. And continue sewing. So it gets a nice line. So you see, now I have attached my zipper on this side, now we need to do our top stitching here. But jeans are always much wider, the stitching, so because of that I start just closing. I place centre front upon centre front, put in a pin, and now I need to open up and attach my zipper to this facing. This is because otherwise I can't get the jeans look out of it. So attach it like this. And now if I look at it from the front you'll see that it's actually attached to the fly all the facing actually. Now I need to do the nice stitching which is to be seen, the top stitch. Every time I do a fly I'm always doing my top stitching from bottom up. In this case I need to turn my zipper foot. Another thing that's important is this back piece remember to remove it so you won't sew it all together and then I start sewing and now you can decide how you want the design of your zipper to do it just the way you like it and to place your top stitching wherever you like So now we've got our fly and it's working perfectly. Now as you might know, a lot of times if you look at your jeans you'll see there are two top stitches. Of course you can do that, you'll just do an extra beside. So we'll do that. Now, um, some of you might think if this is easier if you used two, two needles, 
but unfortunately it do not give such a nice look so I always do it twice and it is not as complicated as you think now you see now I got my zipper but there is a small thing I don't like and that is after removing these there is a lack of seam here I haven't made it all the way but that's not the problem normally you'll have a top stitching on this seam all the way so I'm just gonna do that now put in my regular foot and sew from up here and down in the crotch there is a reason why you only have one stitch here because it's complicated to make two stitches but as you can see now we've got a nice finish out of it and you've got your your jeans look all it need is actually the bar tag bar tack is placed here and it's placed here set the machine for the bar tag if you do if it's not that if you do not have a bar tack machine industrial machine available you can easily do that make some samples and you know for next time whenever you do a bar tag bar tack is just a zigzag but that's placed where we've got weak spots on our garment so we know that it's going to work out perfect so now I've placed one here where the opening is now I'm just going to place one here this one is just again for making it stronger but there is another purpose as well and that's the back side because now I have attached this back side of the zipper so it's placed properly and of course when I finished which I have right now I'm just gonna cut out the threads and here we got a nice fly did you like what you just seen and do you want to learn more then subscribe i'll constantly develop and upload new things all based upon the professional way of sewing all the best for me and good luck with your work